All right, so yesterday I went ahead and um, set up some of these industrial straps and um, it's working really well. So you can see this one right here and then you can probably see the one over on the port side as well. Um, those things are like wire tight right now and basically just to test it out um, I just have them hooked to a piece of rebar going through the mobile home maker down there. It's not a permanent solution but just wanted to see how well it would stand up. And then it goes up to the primary winch, wraps that winch and then gets tied off on the primary cleats. Um, I have it kind of just the slack wrapped around the secondary winch back there. It's not structural. And yeah, it's, um, it's like drum tight on both sides. And I think it is pretty good. I don't think that it's going anywhere, that's for sure. Um, I won't leave these up permanently. I'm gonna like pre-stretch them. And then I'm probably only gonna set this up um, before hurricanes. I don't want the um, UV rays to weaken this. So anyhow, um, that's the setup for now. You'll see over there, um, we've got the, the anchor in place, ready to go up to the bow, and that's what this is for. But um, I don't have any cleats on the bow. <laughs> so uh, if you'll remember, I think I took those off like four years ago. Um, so there's nothing on the bow right now. There's no windlass, there's no cleats, nothing. Because I record that entire area. So today, we are going to start the process of installing those cleats. And if we have time, we'll finish. Um, got those two beautiful newfound metal cleats, parashoff cleats, and um, we're gonna put them on the bow. So I've been thinking for years about where I wanna put them, and to be honest, I still haven't decided, but I guess we'll have to figure that out right now. All right, so I just spent the last two and a half hours um, recreating the bow here. Uh, as you know, this bow pulpit is in storage. The windlass has been in storage for almost five years. Um, and then we've got these new cleats. So, you know, normally there's nothing up here. <clears throat> so I kind of just put everything where it's going to be so that I can figure out where I want the cleats. And I've done all sorts of um, configurations and spent a long time looking at other people's boats and also called my dad and talked to him about you know, how his boat was set up and um, what they would have liked and yada yada yada. Um, so he gave me some great advice. And we're gonna put the cleats somewhere in this general area right here. Um, a little bit of work to do, just in case anybody's like analyzing this right now. The um, bow anchor roller is kind of in the way. It shape a little bit on this line. So um, that's easy enough to just grind down and get rid of so that we have a nice fair lead there. And obviously these weights are here just holding the bow in place, bow pulpit in place so it doesn't fall off the boat. They won't be there. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So they used to be up here where you can see those holes and it's just too tight of a fit. Um, plus the windlass controls were all the way back here. And if you're up at the bow looking over the bow, um, you can't even reach them so um, this is kind of nice because maybe we'll be able to put them up there where we can just stand at the bow hold on to the bow pulpit and use our toes to kind of make them go up and down as we need um, and they'll be out of the way so you won't step on them as much up there as well so that's good but yeah so this is where Fatty had uh, his um, cleats on wildcard he actually had two sets. He had this one here and then another one here. 
on both sides. Um, so that gives me a level of confidence as well. If it worked for him for X number of years, it'll definitely work for us. Um, so now the plan is, is to figure out exactly where we want them and to drill some holes. Um, we're gonna need to grind out um, the diameter of the hole and we'll fill with um, thickened epoxy and then we will tap that and put an aluminum backing plate on the bottom and um, have some nice big threaded bolts that fit perfectly flush here, nice and countersunk and we'll put those through and tighten everything down and then we'll be ready to go. So that way um, as far as the hurricane prep goes, we'll have a bridle coming off just like I have these lines right now and that'll be attached to one of the big straps that I showed you just a little bit ago. And then we'll also have two straps going off either side here um, to kind of hold the boat down this way. Um, so yeah, anyhow, this is going to be a lot of work, so let's get started. All right, so unfortunately, um, the biggest backing plates that I have, which are what I thought pretty big, are not going to be big enough. They're like the same size as the cleat base. So, I mean, yeah, would that work? Of course it would work, but not how I want it to work. So um, I'm going to order some new backing plates. So it looks like we're not going to get the whole project done today, but um, we can at least start. Also, uh, over here I noticed that looks like I've got a little bit more work to do um, where the old foot pedals were for this. I'm going to need to uh, fare this some more and I'm even thinking about filling in this hole right here which was the deck fill for the freshwater tank and the bee berth. Um, we still will need that but I might just position it some other place because I'd like this to be somewhere around here and um, that just seems like an inconvenient spot. It seems too close. You know, the deck fills have like a flange on them that are pretty big and I just don't think it's going to work. So um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and fill this in completely and, uh, well, you know, have to sand down and reprime and all that stuff. But I think in the long run, it's going to be worth it to pay attention to the little details like that. Um, I did go down into the uh, former anchor locker and um, check it out. There's lots of space down there. Or we've got two bulkheads right here. The original bulkhead is right about here, and then the bulkhead that we're adding is right about here. Of course, there's a steel, I mean, a uh, aluminum beam running across here, um, and our inner force day will be somewhere right around in here going up so lots of stuff going up going on up here in the bow um, and you know yet another reason to kind of wait on stuff like this it doesn't need to be right where it was um, so we're just gonna fill it in and find a better spot for it maybe the better spot is back here you know um, I'm not sure maybe the better spot is over there let's see now we'll keep it on the same side as this because that's our other water fill over there um, so anyhow, that's all stuff that we can worry about in the future. For now, uh, I think that, um, I'm going to take this bow pulpit down and clean all this up, get rid of the windlass, get rid of the chain, and, uh, start drilling some holes over here. I think I'm also going to go get some sunglasses. <laughs> it's got really bright out here. <laughs>
All right, first note about uh, good old Florida is that we are gonna need to buy slow hardener. <laughs> Not the fast hardener. Um, I've always used fast hardener, even in the summers up in North Carolina, and it's been great. Um, but like, you know, this is nuts. This is rock solid. Even this, you know, solid R8. It's totally crazy. Um, so we don't want it to, to cure that fast, but it's not gonna hurt anything. It's just not ideal. Um, so what I'm, I've got tape underneath there now, and what I'm gonna do is kind of um, rough up the edges a little bit, and then uh, put some uh, unthickened epoxy, and then we'll put some thickened epoxy in there. So uh, my camera ended up cutting out there, but basically um, we've got the holes drilled over here and filled in with thickened epoxy using um, 404 high density. And so those will be great. We will let them cure, sand it down, uh, drill and tap, and then we'll be able to uh, bond the hardware. So we'll use some butyl tape underneath the uh, cleat bases and we'll use some butyl around the screw heads, screw them down in there, and um, put the backing plate on the back. So this is also good to go. And um, it looks like what I'll need to do is just go order that backing plate so that we can be ready for my next day off. And we'll get back to work because I just saw on the news that there's like this system, uh, like a series of systems coming off of Africa and heading straight towards us. So, um, you know, not too uh, versed in hurricanes, but the probability just went up for one of them becoming a hurricane and, uh, and coming straight for us. So just have to be as prepared as we can, keep working at it, and, um, you know, trust that everything will be all right. <laughs> 